So today's video is about my continued love affair with paper. Specifically glossy paper that displays every covetable item of clothing, shoe, handbag, makeup, boutique hotel, model, known to man. It's a collection of paper put out every month known as Vogue magazine. I used to own every issue and had certainly read every single issue between, I want to say 1994 and 2002. It's a lot of magazines. <laughs> it's a lot of words to read and reread. I love fashion. I've always loved fashion. You know how my mom potty trained me? By bribing me with lacy panties. I just like clothes. From the time I was one and a half, walking through the aisles of probably like, you know, the equivalent of Walmart back then, and, you know, Peoples or whatever, whatever, Peoples department store in North Carolina, and I was like, Mommy, I want those, saw lacy underwear. She said, well, you can't still, you know, go in your diaper if you got lacy underwear, so I said, okay, and that was it. The love affair began, and during recovery, I made a conscious decision not to read magazines anymore. I canceled my subscription to Vogue and really went on quite a, a long media fast just recently, um, about three or four years ago, where I, I stopped reading almost all media, newspapers, stopped watching the news, definitely didn't read Vogue, didn't read New York, The New Yorker, didn't read any of the magazines that I had previously, uh, W, been accustomed to reading, and it was really a, a nice break. And just recently, I picked up another issue of Vogue magazine after quite a long hiatus, and I forgot how wonderful Central Park looks, photographed with models in, you know, sumptuous cashmere capes. And, you know, just the smell of the end of the New York summer with a hot dog stand as you're trying to hail a cab and I remember walking to work my first job was in New York City and I would walk from my apartment on 52nd Street in my red slingback faux crocodile kitten heels thinking just ugh, I love this I love the the cosmopolitan glamour of it all and Vogue for me really brings that back and I know that there are statistics out there that say women feel worse about their bodies after having read fashion magazines. I get it. And that's why I recommend to most of my clients, hey, stop reading the fashion magazines. They're still going to be there when you're ready. <laughs> but stop reading them. They're not going to help you recover. And now, going back to it, gosh, it's just with this huge wave of nostalgia that I'm like, ugh, I love Vogue. Do I need to read it every month? Probably not. But will I devour an issue? Heck yeah. Hence my love affair with a heap of paper that really is transporting and holds just a variety of inspiring images. So, there you have it. Read magazines or don't. Always love your body. Peace.